What's up guys? It's your boy Najee. We back again with another one. All right. So if you haven't checked out my first video back, uh, it was one of those car talks. You can go check it out on the channel. It's the most recent video outside of this one you'll be seeing on your screen now. So go check that out if you wanna hear about what I've been up to and uh, why I've been gone for so long and what I'm doing to try to get back to you guys as quickly as I can with the reactions and whatnot. But I've been enjoying these, uh, I guess, cause there's been a lot that I've recorded. Just to be transparent, cause you know, on this channel, I'm all about authenticity and being real and being very transparent with you guys. So I've recorded a bunch of these videos, you know, kind of just talking about things, you know, as I'm talking to you guys, but mainly it's me talking to myself and kind of just reflecting. And uh, excuse me, I'm kind of short of breath. I did just come from a track. I was doing a little bit of working out. Again, if you guys want some like workout videos, let me know. I'll try to set that up so you guys can see me working out maybe feel a little bit inspired to start working out yourselves if you've been thinking about it but just haven't had yourself or given yourself the chance to really get in there really haven't found the push you needed to get in there maybe i can be that for you so just let me know but yeah all that aside i started recording because i had an idea for i guess not today's video because i did technically release that the other video today as well but i'm gonna put you guys up here a little bit so you can see me but I guess the idea of today's video, since I'm on the topic of breathing hard and my legs feel like jello when I'm walking home, but uh, the idea of today's video is sacrifice. Sacrifice. I was thinking about it. I'm like, what word do I want to use here? And I think the word is sacrifice. You know, it's not... There's some guy talking loud over there. I don't know who he's talking to. Oh, he's talking to his dog. Okay. But yeah, you know, there's a lot of times where we go through stuff and the suffering, it seems to like it's overwhelming. It seems like it's a lot. But the reality is this. And I touched on this a little bit in the other video as well. But if you're not suffering, you're not really working towards anything. I'm gonna repeat that. If you're not suffering, you're not really working towards anything. All right. Pain, the, the feeling of pain is, and even in the most malicious sense, right? So for example, and this is not a call out for anybody, if you feel like I'm calling you out, you know, maybe there's some, some things you have to do for yourself to, come to terms with what you do or to change what you do because whether you change or you don't you have to live with the reality that you've done you know but that's a bar hold on now let me start spitting some quotes on you guys but for my uh my self-harm individuals by the way for you guys that you know i don't even say suffer because i don't know how insensitive that could become to somebody but just to put it bluntly for those that suffer from the the urge or the, the needing to do things to themselves in order to, I, I don't even know what the feeling of euphoria would be to that or if there's some kind of release. But for those that have that issue, and I'm just gonna take a second just to look and check both ways and make sure I can slowly run across the street because I'm dumb tired. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I did a quick little mile repeat workout. So I did like three miles. Uh, and split them up between the, the three miles. So every mile took a break, that type of thing. But, you know, for, for, not, for my people that do that type of thing or just, you know, whatever it may be, some malicious thing, the pain you suffer through, it awakens it awaken something inside of you to be able to overcome the pain. So, and you guys can attest to this if this is something that you, no, personally, but there are times where people will do things, excuse me, guys, sweating, congested, all types of stuff. But there's situations where people will do things 
and they'll hurt themselves. And it'll be a situation where at first it hurts, you know, it's a, it's a new pain to your body, to your mind. And so it doesn't know, really know how to process it. But as you keep doing the thing and you keep putting yourself through the fire, you keep putting yourself through that pain, slowly but surely, your body, and not really really your body, but your mind, programs, it like rewires your mind, it rewires your entire body, your entire system to be able to understand and accept that pain without even registering as pain. It's just another thing happening to your body. So for example, I've been working out again, running again, because before, you know, I was working out in a gym and whatnot, and that's cool. But in terms of like a lot of cardio, running around and stuff, I just recently got back into that. And I've been doing that for like the last month or so. And I have to say this, I've come a long way from what I was doing before where I was running and bro, I felt like shit. <laughs> like there were times I had to sit at the, like say I wasn't at the track, right? And I was just running on the road. There were times where I had to sit where I was. Maybe it was like a store or something I passed by. I'd sit on the curb for a little bit and just kind of collect my breath and just get myself ready to walk home. Cause then at that point I had to realize, oh shit, I gotta walk home. <laughs> so, and mind you, this is not like speed running speed racing this is like long distance work so i'm running miles okay so it's a lot of heavy strain on my lungs and my legs but the point of me saying this is as i kept doing it now i'm at a point where i just you saw me i just finished my workout it's been we've been recording for like seven minutes and you know i'm able to at least talk to you guys and i'm able to walk on my own legs you know i'm able to walk on my own two late my own two feet so it's a situation of knowing that the pain is something that you have to take on in order to improve, in order to succeed. I'm gonna bring you guys in front of me so you guys can really see. But it's important you understand that there is no growth without pain, okay? So I know a lot of us have, especially in this new age society that wants to coddle us and make us feel all cozy inside and whatnot, right? and wants us to run away from things that are hard and run away from things that are difficult. Take the easy way, they say, take the easy road. Yeah, the easy road's nice and dandy and it's full of run, uh, sunshine and rainbows. But you have to think of it like this too. A lot of times that hard road you take, it is the one that opens your eyes and it's the one that really gets you to elevate yourself. And you're probably thinking, you guys are probably watching this and you're seeing me walking past people and, and cars flying past me. And you're like, Najee, TBN, TGU, whatever you still call me. Najee, preferably, because it's the new channel name and everything. But you're probably thinking, Najee, how are you not getting shy or nervous or embarrassed when you're talking to a camera and basically really just talking to yourself in other people's eyes, but you're walking past them and they see you talking to this camera. Don't you feel embarrassed? And the simple answer to that, and you could probably guess it, is two letters. No, I don't feel embarrassed. And the reason why is because I do a lot of mental like simulation. I kind of just am constantly challenging myself mentally. I'm constantly challenging myself to deal with and endure the the awkward times or the slightly embarrassing times so things of that nature things like me walking towards people and talking to y'all i don't really care about that stuff because realistically and this is something you guys can take away from it too realistically how often are you seeing these people okay like just to put it blunt like there's a lot of people you'll walk past and they don't know your name you don't know their name you don't know nothing about them. They don't know nothing about you. So why are you so focused on whether they hear you talking to yourself or talking to a camera or talking to your friends or talking to your family? You know, like it is what it is. So not to get long winded, though, that's just me 
share my personal viewpoint with you guys. Sometimes, and that's what I was talking about in that first video too, perception. Your perspective on things can greatly alter how things affect you and how you deal with things. And if you allow your perspective to be more open-minded or be more, uh, you know, nonchalant, I suppose, with how you view things, then you can build confidence in that rate, in that, in that regard. And like I said in that first video too, it's okay to have a lack of confidence at first, just like it's okay to fail. But the thing that's not okay is to continue to have that lack of confidence because you're afraid of that failure. You will fail and you have to fail. That's what being put through the fire is. That's what sacrifice is. And it all comes full circle in the end of this video, right? Sacrifice and failing go hand in hand. Just off the, off the strength of you sacrificing something, you're going to fail. You're going to fail somebody's expectation. You're gonna fail something in life. Something is gonna click in somebody else's mind that has a negative connotation on you. But that's a sacrifice you have to make in order to evolve and become something greater. And I'll leave you guys on that. So I'm almost home. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed rest of y'all day. Again, happy holidays. I may or may not see y'all. Um, well, actually, I will definitely see y'all tonight. Or not tonight, I guess this morning. Tomorrow morning, not this morning. You know what I mean, for another car talk. So we'll take another little trip. I'll probably go to the, to the, uh, to get some breakfast again. And I'll talk to y'all in the car again about another topic tomorrow. But it's been your boy, Najee. I love y'all. Stay safe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.